Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. <laughs>Hello everyone and welcome to the duck adventure for a very, very cold January, I think it's the 17th, Saturday. Um, I came out thinking, well it's noon, I, I haven't, re I didn't film anything today because I've just been running back and forth with water and it's so cold. I got up this morning and it was minus uh, like 29.7 on the digital thermometer, absolutely brutal. Um, the wind chill, well put it this way, I just on the internet because I know it's warming up, it's noon, I'm going to let the ducks out because I wanted to clean the barn out. Um, and uh, I look at the, the wind chill factor, and it's minus 37. Uh, the wind chill, uh, it gets, it's unbelievable. My face, actually, just walking from the house just now, my face is burning. Well, Doug doesn't even want to be outside. So, my plan today was to clean the barn out. They're loud. They want out really, really bad, but I can't let them out because it's so cold. Like, um, I'm, I'm over at the, uh, oh, I'm not gonna go inside here, guys. I'm over at the, uh, the bathtub because I'm filling it up right now, but I'm gonna put the cover on it. Um, oh, they're loud. They want out so bad. They're going nuts, but I can't let them out because it's the wind chill so bad right now. They would literally, uh, they would freeze. Um, and I got to look out for them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw down some more straw today. Uh, another bale. Now we've got some good news coming. So, oh, uh, after midnight tonight, it's supposed to go to uh, something like plus one. So we've got a really warm patch. Tomorrow is supposed to be absolutely gorgeous here. Actually, they're calling for rain tomorrow. So the ducks are going to be out. I got I might be getting up in the middle of the night here just to let them out. Um, I got to get back inside here. Oh, this is going to be hard. It's so, I can't, I'm freezing to talking to you guys, but um, they are ugly. They want out so bad. I feel sorry for them, but I can't let them out. I, like, I can't. I, I, like, there's no way. Uh, even the, you know, even the ruins and the Pekings who are really good at handling the cold, uh, letting them out today this wind chill, it would just keep lifting their feathers and they would just keep losing body heat. And then once they lose their core temperature, that's when things like frostbite can set in in their feet. And, you know, so it's, you know, keeping the core temperature right now is so important. Uh, and in this wind, you can't keep your core like my face. Oh, by the way, guys, order a hat here. I can't believe I was looking at it. I got like a lot of them. I couldn't believe I, how many boxes of these hats I have in my uh, my inventory from my old store. And uh, they're actually really, really warm. Like today, it feels nice having this fur against my skin. Um, no, well, it's simulated fur, but listen to them going. I'm being told, flat out, let me out, but I can't. And they were so quiet this morning. But I know, I'll throw down a bale of uh, hay, I mean a bale of straw, and that'll, that's like a pacifier, you know. Uh, they'll be happy, something to dig around in. Uh, you know, you don't know, get the boredom, because right now, the reason they're going nuts is the boredom. They're, they're cracking. So I'll get a bale of uh, straw, I'll throw it in, and I'll turn the camera back on to show you guys the difference. <laughs> Poor ducks, I feel sorry for them. Alright, I, uh, I, I didn't have my pivot heads on, but I just picked up a couple of geese, and uh, they were calm. Um, now, I did hang on to their necks, because they just, uh, they've got some wicked bills on them, and I don't want to get uh, whacked by them. Um, tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but uh, next couple days, I'll, uh, we're going to grab them and... I'm going to video it up close for you guys just to get an idea of uh, what their um, uh, their bills are like. It, they're pretty dangerous, I'm telling you. I was looking up close and they uh, I would not want them to take a whack at you. Nothing like a duck bill. Now, everybody's a little bit upset right now because, like I said, I was in there and I caught two of the geese and 
pick them up. And I was actually quite shocked. You know, they were really skittish of me, but as soon as I grabbed them, they calmed right down. <laughs> but once again, everybody needs a bath. But I've uh, got, I put a bale of straw down here and everybody's digging around in it now. And <laughs> But I'm telling you, these ducks do not like to uh, be walking on their own feces. I, uh, I'm actually, I'm actually starting to figure them out that way. Uh, when it gets really dirty in here, they get really stressed out, and they don't like it. So I don't know if it's because they're just spoiled ducks. I think that's what it is. They're uh, they just so used to being clean all the time that you know. When it's dirty, they don't like it. Well, I'll be back in a couple hours and uh, we'll fill up their water and if the temperature changes, but it's sure not looking like it. It's absolutely nasty out. Oh, another thing too is disco duck. While I was doing the straw, I was flying around inside. Actually, that was the big goose right there that I picked up. But you can sure tell I handled them when they were young because as soon as I pick them up, they go limp. Now they fight me catching them, but as soon as I, I you know I get my hands on them, they go limp. Well, we've certainly got some dirty ducks, though. So I'm gonna uh, keep, like I said, I'm gonna keep track of the temperature and we'll see what happens today, but it's not, it's not looking good outside. It's pretty cold. It's so cold, actually, that Doug, look at this, he's inside. Normally, he'd be out front right now digging around in the brush pile where the, uh, the fox are coming in, so that's how cold it is. Actually, Doug was out there lifting his back foot up. It was so cold. Poor ducks. Lockdown sucks, man. Look at this, the poor ducks. They went out so bad. <laughs> the feet come and sticking their heads out the uh, grate. Unfortunately, I can't let them out because like my face, I just winding the hose up here after filling the tub uh, and my face is already numb. It's uh, it's nasty. Oh, poor Doug's walking around with his back feet keeps limping, lifting his back feet so cold. The wind chill is just nasty today. It's hard to believe. I look at the thermometer and it says you know minus 16. Um, actually, it says minus 16 down here. It says minus 14 up here. But uh, the wind is 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 crazy. I can see why they have a wind chill warning on the internet right now. I just uh, gave the uh, the ducks some hay, but uh, I couldn't believe it. And I got to show this to you guys because uh, you know remember how noisy they were. Um, I'm now, uh, I'm convinced my ducks are spoiled and they don't like, you know, their own feces. Uh, they were, you know, they were losing it when I was in there before and I just went in, gave them some hay, not even like two minutes ago, and they were all sleeping. So I, I just woke them up but I gotta show you how quiet they are. Look at this. Fresh straw and everybody's just laying back, relaxed. Like totally relaxed. A couple of you are piled in that back corner. There's, there's like about five ducks in that corner. Actually, there's one, two, three. There's six ducks in that corner.
So I give them, uh, you know, fresh straw, and they all uh, relax, and they are actually they're sleeping. Like you know, when I came before we came in here, you know, they're all walking around stressed out, and uh, you know now you know with the the fresh straw that I threw on top of the dirty straw, but uh, at least they're not laying in dirt in their feces, and they seem to know it. And <laughs> I tell you, they're spoiled ducks. I can't believe it. Actually, I, walk, I, I was walking back and forth, putting things away in the back shed, and I was like, "There's not a single sound coming out of the uh, the barn." And I got stuck my head inside, and they're all asleep. And I was like, "Okay," and I had the lights on and everything for them, and they're uh, just enjoying the, the you know the fresh straw, the fresh straw. They uh, even though it's on top of dirty straw, but you know to them, uh, I guess they're not touching their feces anymore. And, you know, they're sort of like duck, you know, when it's dirty, they, you know, he doesn't like going in there. And I guess the duck's the exact same way. You know, well, no, I guess they are because, you know, it, it's filthy in there and they were losing their crap this morning. Well, people, it has not warmed up today at all. Um, I'm hoping the weatherman's right. I'm, uh, I have to go to the city tomorrow. So I won't be filming tomorrow. And I was really hoping on letting the ducks out tomorrow because uh, the barn's filthy and I'm not going to be here. Doug hears lots of noises today. The wind's crazy. It's cold. Unbelievably cold. Just, just listen to them. Yes, there's your water. Oh, I see an egg. I wonder who's laying the eggs in the middle of the day. Any other eggs here? They're a little bit uh, wound out here this afternoon. Actually, I'm going to check their food. So, uh, oh, they got lots of food. All right, relax, everybody. It's actually, the temperature's perfect at zero in here. They're so loud. Don't worry guys, it's supposed to be nice tomorrow and everybody's going to get outside. It's supposed to be like around midnight the, uh, the temperature is supposed to change. Alright, I'll be back later with more water. The geese always stay away when I bring the water. It's so funny. Well, at least, you know, the straw is covering up all the feces. And... All right, I'll be back later, guys. Oh, that wind. It's unbelievable. It just doesn't stop. The weatherman's right. I lost the dog though. He's gone. Well, he's probably off in the bush barking. Oh, I forgot that egg. I'm back, everybody. Hello, ducks. Oh, there's a poor duckies trapped in the barn. But at least, you know, not like last year where I wasn't ready for them. And they suffered. The ducks haven't suffered anything this year.